Hello, welcome back to Murdered Soul Suspect. And we are helping Joy get to the to Baxter's office. Because we're trying to solve our murder. Freaky. And we're just going to poltergeist every little Speed thing up, girl. we can. What was that? Freak people out. What about my killer? Cool. Suspect is male, likely without immediate family, able to move about the city freely, only spotted a handful of times near the crime. Hey. Feel this, buddy? That sickness she carried in her brain? You made it tolerable. Well, I guess you must be together now. Rix is grateful to Ronan for helping Julia through her mental illness. How did she die? Karen Marie Douglas, female, 37 age, accountant, married, no criminal record, no violent relationships, socially known for Wednesday night Ouija board parties. This is the other one. Virtually no evidence at the scene of foul play except bell symbol. No prints, no DNA, no immediate suspects. I'm trying very hard not to reveal what's going on, because it's pretty clever. It's a pretty clever thing. Let's see... I'm also trying to see if I remember it as well as I wanted. Okay. That's Reyes. We're looking for Baxter. We're also looking for these. Five more to uncover the full story. And didn't I say a thing where I was going to have those? Ronan gets his badge. Big day. I never thought this would happen between Ronan actually going through with this and Rex pulling off the paperwork and managing Ronin's past. So much could go wrong, but it happened, and my man has a badge now. Looks good on him, and he loves it. I think his swagger just got even bigger. God, I love a guy in uniform. My voice is a little bit ragged, isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the list of the stalwart Spectre stuff. is if it'll let me on my phone okay well I have the search going so that'll be for later huh. I always knew there had been trouble I did not didn't know his official arrest record was that extensive much worse than I thought. Felony after felony. Going back to childhood. It's like his life was already ruined. How can I join my life with his? What was your mental illness issue? You seemed pretty put together. Plain clothes cop. cop. It was quite a trick Rick's pulled. Advancing Ronan to detective without making him spend much time as a beat cop. He convinced the captain and the commissioner that Ronan's street smarts would make him most effective as a plainclothes cop, Ronan was very relieved. Yep, like I said, he got detective fast because he had friends. Yay, yeah, four more of those. Okay. Winslow. What is Baxter's last name? I 
She's right there. There's nobody in here. Meeting room. We are exploring the possible possibility of connection between the devs listed on the map. Do not make public comment on the connection until pu officially authorized. Interesting. You're Baxter. Before we go into your office, Baxter, we're going to look around a little bit. See if we can find some more uh, stalwart Spectre things. Because I have a feeling if we go into your place, um, plot happens. Looks like Baxter was a detective and he was demoted to playing clothes. Okay. I am not seeing anything else, so I guess. Nope, that's O'Connor. Okay. Hmm. Okay, let's go in. Do I need to talk to her? Is that what's going on here? Did I forget that I need to talk to her? That's what's going on here. Okay. Yep. <sighs> it was close. Where is everybody? Detectives usually work the day shift. Okay, but which office is Baxter's? It's in the back hallway to the right. Okay. what I was paying attention to the wrong thing and I missed what the objective new objective is that's fine I'm gonna pop out through the wall and scare the are you trying to get caught you're about as stealthy as a tornado Ugh, the desk was like that when we got here yeah I know how many places can you hide a book in one tiny little room? Who knows? My mugshot. I thought Rex suppressed this. This file's confidential. I recognize that guy. I ran with him when I was a kid. What is making those sounds? It was a Looks camel. like someone was hiding your real rap sheet. Now I have proof. blackmail file against me sure take your time no rush I'm sure the book will find itself all right just calm down a second here cops don't hide things in plain sight just need to figure this out mm. one out of Your ten guys. clues one. new message Of each murder changes, the inner zeal is the same. This is why the killings seem random and related. 
But the police can't see these connections. Except Officer Baxter. I can't say I trust him. But he's my only chance. Alright. Let me see if there's a way to... Tone down the mouse sensitivity. <sighs> Appears no. Okay, let's see what game options say. Sensitivity. Nope. Okay. Inspect. New message. Someone left a message on Baxter's voicemail. Promotion commendation. He was proud of making detective. Well, why wouldn't he be? Serve and protect. Academy two years before I did. That explains why a criminal can get can become a cop. Somebody was hiding stuff. Terrors of 1692, Salem disgrace. Baxter has been reading about Salem's history. It doesn't seem like something he would care about. Got five out of ten clues. Hey, can you check that voicemail message? Okay. Baxter, I told you you're off the case. Now we need all the files in that psychic's book in my office now. Rex was still asking for the book, so it is probably still in here somewhere. Good. <coughs> okay. Probably hid the book somewhere in his office because Rex was still looking for it. Bragging. So that's what Baxter does in his free time, huh? Is that bowling? Yep, that's bowling. Ticket out of town. Why would pick Baxter leave town a lot? Two more clues. And we don't have a conclude investigation yet, so we haven't found enough to sol we haven't found what we need to solve it. So we've got a lot of extra clues. Is what that means. Can we talk to her again? Come on, we have to find that journal. Hmm. Where's clue, 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 blah, 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 blah. No, that won't let me possess her. Uh, that would be very bad. She would really not appreciate that. And we've kind of already experienced what she can do ghosts do to ghosts come on where's I hate fiddly um, interface points you have to wander around so it says okay you found an interface point aha Interesting matches gun rack. It's not a shadow, it's a stain. What caused that mark on the wall? Projected, drawn, imprinted. Hidden lever. Inward. I better tell the girl. I thought it would be behind. I think I found it. Show me. There's a button on the side of the gun rack. Yes, this is it. 
How did you build that without the oh, anybody knowing? Please tell me you understand what all these symbols are. Yeah, it's some of them. That's weird. The last thing she wrote is he knows about me. Oh God, that means he was after her. You don't know that. Come on, we should move. Oh, t crap. Wait, what is that? The museum. That's strange. Why would this be in her book? I don't know. Just, just take it and figure it out later. She's here somewhere. I'll check here. Head toward the back office. We gotta go. Stay out of sight. Go, go! Okay. So we are going to poltergeist the hell out of everything. You need to hurry. Damn machine. Are you out? You appear to be out. Are you already downstairs where I can't follow you? There's something over here. What an ass. He was wrong even when he was right. Okay. Another gun. Need three more. Mm hmm. Hmm. Looks like I've accidentally skipped some again. Okay. Do I have to talk to you? Hold up, hold up. I need to make sure the coast is clear. Rex. Who's that? Cop, you need to avoid. All right, you're gonna need to make a break for that room over there. We'll wait for my signal. Hey, LT, hold up. You know what this fire drill's all about? Go, go, go. Interesting fire drill. Was she related to Udini? Those doors locked from the outside. <laughs> yeah, I'll check after we catch her. Hey, uh, you know, I just wanted to say that uh, you know, Ronan, he was uh, he was top notch. He wore his badge with honor. No, I hate it when people lie to me. I'm not lying. I just, you know, it's no reason to trample on his grave. Well, he wore the badge because he thought it was intimidating, right? Because he thought it would make up for all the crap he did when he was younger. You know what? I heard the rumor, Sarge. I know a lot of the guys thought he lived his life on the wrong side of the prison. So, no, no, not not everyone. It's okay. About that. Look, no. I understand. But at least he was honest, huh? He would look you in the eyes and he would tell you exactly what he thought, right? I'm here to tell you that sort of bravery is a rare thing these days. You ain't have much to be proud of. At least he didn't try. To hide I'm sorry, sir, but uh, it's been hard on everyone. What did I just say about lying? I like Rex. Okay. Crap, what is this place? The all killer war room. Everything we know about the case so far. Well, I got what I need, so. See hey, ya. you keep trying to do this alone, you're gonna get yourself <coughs> killed. How would I just leave it as. 
All you want. Ugh, crap. Okay, so that's that. I guess the next thing we do... Chase the, wit the witness outside. I think, actually... Where's the door? Okay, can we go out that way? No. Okay. Damn it. Okay. I like uh, event-based games where, you know, you can bend space and time because... Need two more. Okay. Yep, okay, that's the one that they mark as first, basically. Okay. The first cabin opposite. Okay, let's, let's do that. Leave the war room? Left. Water closet. I think I've already got this one. Yeah, I got this one. Okay. With the judge clue on the wall. got that one. Hmm. Oh, I haven't gotten this one. Need one more. Okay. Judge clue on the wall. How'd they get that poster in there? Everyone is a part of... What? Everyone is a victim of the system. Hmm. Never pick up a dead man's gun. Is that the judge clue? Oh, you killed yourself. Yep, that one's one I got already. Okay, cool. Second floor, I already got that one. On the second floor, go left from the ladder near the stairs into the room to your right in the corner. Okay, so. Yep, ghosts. Keep telling them about the ghosts. I'm sure they'll believe you eventually. We're not going up to the second floor from those stairs. I can tell you that. Okay. Go left from the ladder near the stairs. The ladder near the stairs. Ah! My... 
Anne Grace, no legal middle name, female 22 years old, no immediate family, publicly went by the name Madam Agatha, novelty fortune teller. So Ouija clubs, fortune teller, hmm, Salem witch trials. I was it was pretty I was pretty firmly convinced about that by the time by this point the first time I played through this actually so that's nothing new there it is okay near go left from the ladder near the stairs That's the ladder near the stairs. Into the room to your right. In the corner behind a board. strongly suspect I'm not in the right room. Oh! That's... that's... that's clever. I can still remember my first day on the force. Salem PD was in this tiny building on the edge of town. It was old, crowded, and completely insufficient to handle the day-to-day -day operations. Protecting Salem was getting harder and harder. Finally, the city decided to convert the old armory into our new headquarters. And when we finally moved in, I couldn't believe how big and modern the place was. Not bad for one of the first buildings in Salem. Plus, it just felt right. It used to be the city's first line of defense in a wild frontier, and now it had resumed its post once again, only this time in a modern world. The first week was a little chaotic as we settled in. One officer reported that someone had removed his gun from his locker. It took him 20 minutes to track it down, and when he did, he found it leaning against the wall in one of the unoccupied offices. Also, the late night station operator reported a strange phone malfunction. Occasionally, when someone would call in to report a shooting, the recording would just stop. The call would cut out, and the voice of the panic caller would just loop over and over again until the phone was unplugged. Soon it was pretty clear that these strange occurrences weren't just honest mistakes or faulty phone lines. One evening, the medical examiner came running down the hall in tears. She noticed that her scalpels and other tools had gone missing. She went to get more from the cabinet, but stopped cold at what she saw in the reflection. A ghostly silhouette of a Civil War soldier was standing over one of the corpses. She spun around, he was gone. She barely noticed how cold the room had gotten before running off. Of course, the guys didn't believe her. Hell, I didn't either. Until I saw it with my own eyes. I was working late and got up to get more coffee. As I rounded the corner, I saw it in the reflection of the trophy case. It was staring right at me. He lifted an old, ghostly rifle and pulled the trigger. The trophy case fractured into a spider web of cracked glass and I, I took off running. The captain didn't believe me. I had docked my next paycheck to replace the glass. I didn't care if people thought I was crazy. I know what I saw. People sometimes ask me if anyone else has seen it since or if the specter still roams the halls. I always tell them the same thing. 
I wouldn't know. I transferred to Boston. Okay. Stalwart soldier, a uh, stalwart um, specter completed. Uh, let's find a route down that isn't going to go through that hell hands mouth thingy. There we go. This will do. And uh, pursue our witness friend again. Back. Is this? Oh, that's a thing to collect. Okay. In this place stood a mobile a noble fortress against the forces of the British Crown erected in 1775. What? I guess... I mean, we did... Okay. Game. Okay. Um, well, first of all, I'm going to end the video because the timer went off a long time ago. And I'm going to try to figure out what the heck's going on here.